Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to try out a different aircraft. Yes, we're going to go out in the venerable Boeing B-17G. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you'd like. So here she is. This is a really great model. Um, this was first put together back in 2017, and I believe it's had some updates. It's done by the guys at uh, Campsin. 3D models by that person, the textures, animations, and the flight model, and they've done a really great job. And, it, and it's a real challenge uh, when you're used to flying little GA aircraft around the places. If you're uh, on my channel for any time, you'll know that that's what I primarily do. I don't fly the big ones at all. And uh, I thought, well, I've been having a look around at a few new aircraft just to see what's out there. And uh, I was really surprised to run across this one and the level of quality uh, in the model itself. So getting these tail wheel aircraft in the air and on the ground is very much a challenge and very worthwhile. So he'll be heading down. So we held the stick back or the yoke back until we got enough authority with the rudder. So if you hold the stick back, that keeps the uh, tail wheel and your steering uh, <laughs> with some sort of confidence that uh, you're going to stay where you want to go. Uh, once you get a bit of speed up in this, you can use your rudders, then you can uh, get away from using the old rudders. Doesn't it look magnificent? Really is good. They've used some pretty high quality uh, textures and stuff with this. Um, and it's, it's a real pleasure to fly. You can actually wander around the whole of the fuselage and down below the cockpit and uh, down into the, the nose area where the bombardier would be. So here we are flying over some nice, nice area. This is around Biggin Hill. I thought that would be poetic to fly out of there, although I'm not sure whether um, the bombers flew out of Biggin Hill. I think there was a fighter base, but look at those uh, cowlings and, and the work that's been done. It's bloody excellent, i got to say. Very happy with it. Look, and the quality of the cockpit. Now, there's not a lot of uh, clickable cockpit in here, but there are a few items. So, um, yeah, give it a good look around. Have a play with it, guys. So go download it. You can get it from, uh, well, you can go into xplane.org and search for B17G, and you'll find this one. I think there is some others as well. This is version 1.41. Uh, Cam Sin Studio, I'll try and pronounce it for a 1.41, uh, and it is designed for X-Plane 11, so just a bit of a fly around, we'll have a look and see how it feels, we'll do some turns, because you're not going to do a great deal more, this one's actually modelled with a whole lot of uh, bombs in the back, but I'm not sure on the weight side of things, I, to be honest, didn't have a quick look, but just the general flying characteristics, very slow to get moving, even with all four engines running. Um, and but one that's up and going, it's not too bad to fly. I thought some low level stuff would be uh, a real bit of eye candy as we zip around the countryside. Now you've got that uh, nose chin gun, chin gun there, which uh, was introduced a little bit later in the war, but and I believe these were the most popular and the most produced, the G model. It allowed the bombardier. To, uh, to do use the Norden bomb site at the front to do its uh, the daytime bombing thing, which it was renowned for, it was supposed to be very accurate. Um, and also in there, there was another set of controls, a bit like bicycle handles, that you could turn the front turret left and right and lift the, no the guns up and down. And uh, just another bit of trivia for you, the term the whole nine yards, when someone says, let's give them the whole nine yards, that actually comes from the B-17. Guess how long the belt was, belts of ammunition for each gun. They were nine yards long. Isn't that a bit of trivia for you? So the uh, the firing time was a little bit over a minute is all they really had in combat for each of the gunnery positions. So um, as you can imagine, the videos that we've seen with them firing wildly into the sky uh, apparently isn't accurate. No, it'd be short bursts and uh, lots of little short bursts and trying to be as accurate as possible. There was no hosing the sky trying to get hold of your uh, 109 or your Focke Wolf or whatever it is that was trying to shoot you down. So let's climb a little bit. Climb performance is not bad, it's slow. Must take you a while to get up to um, 
10 to 20,000 feet in this. Uh, there are a whole lot of uh, controls for the engines. You've got the center mounted uh, throttles, which you can see just in the corner of the picture there. Um, they have the, um, the mixture there. And down below on the shelf, you can just see the four little buttons sticking out there. They're the, um, the props. So you can move, set the props if that, oh, hopefully I've got that correct. I was watching a bit of a video on that this afternoon, uh, an introduction to the B-17G. So I think the best thing we need to do now is we've had a bit of a fly around. Let's go back and tr give it a try at landing it. Now I'm going to be honest with you, it took me a few goes. Uh, so we'll look at three of them uh, and thankfully they get somewhat progressively better. They go from disastrous to survivable. So we'll have a look at that in a minute as well. You can have a bit of a laugh. Mark me out of 10. So here we are, the first one. Now, what I what I discovered, um, and it probably should have been fairly obvious, but as you fly in, you get the attitude right. Now you need to get the speed down to uh, about where it is there now, about a hundred plus knots or miles an hour. I'm not sure what it's graduated to. If you put the flaps down much before that, uh, you tend to rip one set of them off, and the thing just rolls uncontrollably, and you become mincemeat not a good day so you need to come i'm sinking below the glow path you can see here i'm bringing the nose up i've got the power on full i'm trying to just get over the top but my speed as you can hear wasn't enough so a nice little pirouette <laughs> go sliding backwards okay that was number one number two let's see if we can get this a little bit better so a bit more Start a little bit higher. Now we're still a little bit, we got four whites, so we are a little bit high. Holding the nose up, trying, being careful not to try and dump it, which I'm trying very hard not to do. But it was dumped. <laughs> so yeah, flames and all guys, flames and all. That's number two, that didn't go so well. All right, number three. Let's see if we can't get this one on the ground. But it's getting that balance and using power. It's attitude for your speed and power for your descent rate is the, the the path that i take yes i know there's another one which is reversed of that but that's what i do and we're getting back we're a little bit long but we've got it Three thousand. hey we didn't break the wheels here we go rolling down the runway at uh, biggin hill i chose not to use the grass section so, a bit of a fly around the B-17G, guys. Go get downloaded yourself. There'll be a link down in the description below. Thanks for coming along. Share, subscribe, like, and visit letsflyvfr.com if you've got a bit of time spare. And I will catch you back here, Let's Fly VFR, in the very near future. Thanks for coming for a fly with me. I'll see you then soon. Bye-bye.